Yes! 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 So this was me about two months ago now. Akron 100%. A very impressive achievement. It's absolutely something I would have been proud of. As long as I didn't develop my own clickbot to fake this video for fun. This is Wafflebot. I've been fascinated with fucking fascinated. I'm not re-recording that shit. Clickbotting stuff for a very long time now, and I've always wanted to develop my own clickbot as a sort of project to truly finish everything I've been wanting to do for Geometry Dash. And after two months, I think it's finally ready to release. So let's start. Wafflebot is a program that takes a Geometry Dash level macro, some pre-recorded click sounds, and mashes them together into a realistic sounding audio file of clicks to go along with the level in a video editing software. It currently supports classic and platformer levels, supporting XDBot JSON macros for 2.2, MegaHack Replay JSON files for 2.2, and TazBot JSON macros for 2.113. Let's go over an example of downloading Wafflebot and using it. Before I do though, make sure to check the pinned comment if this process changes in the future, which it definitely will at some point. In the description, I have a link to the GitHub releases for Wafflebot. From the latest version, download config.json, sample clicks, sample macros, and Wafflebot depending on your OS. I'm on Windows for this example, so I'll be downloading the Windows executable. Put these files all into one folder and extract the zip files as well. Once completed, you should end up with this folder structure. You should have Wafflebot, config.json, and a player underscore one and a player underscore two folder all in the same directory. Let's quickly go over the internal structure of the click sample files. You have a player underscore one and player underscore two folder corresponding to what clicks each player should use. Inside these folders are more folders describing the click types like clicks, releases, soft clicks, soft releases, and so on. In each of these folders are the actual audio files of the click samples. The click audio files currently have to be in .wav format, with support for more macro types and audio types planned for the future. Your click files currently have to have at least one click and release for each player, and for the left and right buttons if you're attempting to use a platformer level macro. Yet again, read the pinned comment for future changes. Open up the config.json file in a text editor like Notepad, and you'll see that there are two special parameters, soft click time and soft click after release time. Soft click time is the threshold in seconds between two clicks for the second click to be soft. That is to say, if you click and then click again within this time frame, this second click will be soft. Soft click after release time is very similar, except when you do essentially a micro release, micro <coughs> micro release. Good fucking god. Micro release, the next click will be soft. Let's finally actually use the program. On Windows, drag a macro from any directory on top of the Wafflebot executable. If everything goes right, you should see that it generates an audio file in the program's directory. You can also generate multiple macros at a time as well, allowing for mass generation of multiple macros if you want. On Linux, the process is similar. Mark Wafflebot as an executable program, open a terminal and run it with macro file paths as command line arguments by dropping the macros onto the terminal. And just like that, you should have audio files generated using Wafflebot. So after two months, this is the public release of my own clickbot. I still have some ideas for this project in the future, one of them being a port to Geode and also a live version, which would be exciting. In the description, I also have a link to the Wafflebot Discord server, which you can join to look at progress updates, report issues or bugs, and give some feedback on the project. Wafflebot is also fully open source as well on GitHub. Anyway, I'll leave with some examples of Wafflebot in action.